everyone, welcome back. So I have a Target haul. The only things you won't see are the three cases of soda, so no judging. Now with the holiday season, like obviously Christmas and New Year's Eve and New Year's and Christmas Eve and all that stuff, we tend to buy drinks like that, not just because of us, but we have friends that do not like the drinks that Josh and I and the girls like. So to kind of accommodate everyone, we did that. Plus I had a 20% off coupon that I earned and I have another 20% off that expires tomorrow, which I need to use up. And then I had cartwheel, so I had to go do that. I left at eight o'clock in the morning. It is 10.07 right now. So we did that because my dad's coming into town. Today will be his last day working, and then he should be here hopefully tomorrow, Sunday or Monday or whenever, but I know he's having like three weeks off, so I want to kind of like accommodate him a little bit, even though I will be going to Sam's Club um, to like replenish my stuff for the entire month of like December because we're already halfway through December, aren't we? It's the 7th. Um, half, like, planish half of the month of December and then the beginning of January and then mid-January we go again for like January and February. That's kind of how Josh and I do it. Even with our meat, we do the same thing. Okay, so Black Friday, actual Friday, Target was giving out like, if you spent a certain amount of money, they were giving 20% off the entire store. So I had, I earned one myself and then the shopping cart, how crazy, the shopping cart I was using had one in it. And I guess the person never realized. So I obviously snagged two, so I had 40% off, which obviously you can only use one per transaction, which I only did one transaction because I didn't really know what else to buy. I don't shop. Food-wise, at Target, I only shop clothing and toys. <laughs> Target one spot. And um, my total was... Let's see. This is my receipt. My total before everything, I think it was like 100 it was like before my 20% off, before my cartwheel, it was like 160 something dollars, which I was like... <gasps> Oh my god, what did I buy? And then I was like, oh, it went down to 80, nope, it went down to $94.23, which is pretty good. So I saved $19.03. Anyways, so the sodas are in the car, there were three for 12. And I bought a chair, nope, I bought a vanilla Coke, a normal Coke, and then a Minute, minute Made Lemonade. And then I love snacking on stuff, so it kind of like upsets me when Target does this. They put these things on cartwheel and then they're nowhere to be found in the entire store and it's annoying. It's like, why do you advertise this for 20 or 30% off? And then when you try to go find it, you actually don't find anything, which is annoying, right? Okay, so I got a Cherry Coke because I was like really thirsty and the Starbucks line in Target was like ridiculously long and I was like, I am not, uh, nope, your girl ain't doing it. So we didn't do it. So I bought these and so I, I opened it while I was driving and they do taste pretty good which is crazy this was six bucks they had four different flavors and this one was kind of the one that like i gravitated to it has madagascar no sorry macadamia nut mangoes madagascar vanilla bean i knew it was madagascar i was like no madagascar vanilla bean and then it has cashews and I don't know, it was just really, really good. It's like very sweet. Um, it's like gluten-free, um, no like added like flavors, artificial flavors or colors, um, no preservatives and stuff like that. So I love snacking on things like this. I was gonna get the um, trail mix, the monster trail mix from Target, but they wanted $7 for individual little, little, sachets like little bags and I was just like I'm not doing that 
This was not on cartwheel, but I still grabbed it because I obviously wanted it. Okay. These, you guys, I was so surprised that they still had these because when I went to Target November 10th to do like the exclusive LOL freaking stupid things, limited edition ones, it was one per customer, which is so crazy because I was at Target last weekend and I did not see these in an end cap. So I was like, you know what? Let, I'm looking for beef jerky in the holiday section because that's what I do because I like giving beef jerky and stockings. So I was like, you know what? The stocking section, like Christmas stocking section and the toy section are kind of like right next to each other. Anyways, so I was like, oh, let's see what they have, LOL. So I was like walking by. And then I see a little end cap and I keep walking and then I like scoot my cart back and I like glanced in and I was like, let me just go check because you never know. It might be empty, but I might bypass it and then it's full. You guys, I grabbed a ton more of the LOL Surprise. These are the Christmas ones. These are the Glam like uh, Bling series. So these are Christmas ones. I picked up all four. <laughs> I, had, I picked up all four. I don't really care. Yeah, I'm that petty. I didn't leave anything for anyone um, because that's just how it is. Um, they did put some of the glam glitter balls in there too to make like make people like go crazy. I was just gonna pick up two and then I was like, I'm gonna leave two, and I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that because when I came, I had cash in my hand to purchase more than one ball because that's what I wanted for my child. They didn't let you, so now you're bringing it out. So I was like, you know what? They're there for me. No one was in the toy section but me, so I picked up all four. Don't care. Criticize all you want. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. I seen these. I don't really know if these are like a good bang for your buck because they were like $3 and some change, which these are the mini Baby Bell white cheddar variety pack. So it has cheese and crackers. Um, I, they bring three in it. I thought that the girls and Josh can like have this like as a snack or something. So we grabbed this one. This is a, that's the white cheddar and then this one is the original. So I just picked these up. No, they were not on cartwheel, but I've always wanted to try them, especially for the girls. And I don't think Sam's Club has that. So I just snagged it up. This was the Lint Peppermint White Chocolate um, Candy Bar. It's a dollar. This is the one that Destiny absolutely loves she loves white chocolate like I do but like she loves white chocolate with peppermint um and Dollar Tree had these a while ago like last year and for Christmas time and she hasn't found it yet and she's dying to find it so I'm gonna throw this in her stocking hopefully Dollar Tree doesn't bring them back but she'll be excited to grab that okay let's see I'm trying to like take stuff out my dad likes Cafe La Llave um this was like on not cartwheel but it was like on sale for like a dollar something so i just picked that up because he loves cuban cuban um coffee and this is cuban coffee i was trying to see if it said miami but it doesn't this was on cartwheel and i picked it up because again i will be going to sam's club but to get us through and we don't have to open our bigger bag of Sam's Club. I thought this would be perfect. Um, this was like 20% off on a car bill plus my 20% off the entire store. So we did that. Okay. Um, Destiny and I and Dalia love these. The um, Walmart used to carry these and they don't, they don't anymore, which is freaking annoying. Um, so Target is the only place that I can actually find them and I don't go to Target like I said to buy food So when I seen them I snagged them up and um, This is like the Clementine one and This is like I don't do Sparkling drinks, but I can like I can take this like it has to be really cold for me not to like complain about it but this is like sparkling juice so this is like um with sparkling with a splash of 70 percent of juice and then like water i know it's not probably the healthiest for you it's probably not it's not healthy for you but it's i just looked at the sugar intake and it's like 19 grams of sugar which is bad let's see what a soda is Soda has 
70. Oh my God, so I just might as well just stick to this, right? Okay, so I grabbed the Clementine one. They had an apple pear, but I have never tried the apple pear. Um, I love black cherry like drinks in general, like obviously cherries, you know, Coke, whatever. So I like that one. Um, and De Destiny does take this to school. Um, obviously, if people are stupid, they can read it and it's a sparkling drink, even though it looks like, um, whew, it looks like one of those like wine coolers, which are not, but this is a black cherry flavored and I love this. Um, when dixie also has these as well and they're mad expensive at Winn-Dixie. So we don't do that at Winn-Dixie. I don't even shop at Winn-Dixie anymore unless if I have coupons. Okay, I know that I could get this at Sam's Club. But they don't have like Christmas um, flavors. They only have like strawberry and like kiwi and like cotton candy or something like that. And the girls kind of get tired of those. They do have the Sour Patch Kids, which it's in the deep freezer where they're almost out. So this is the limited edition um, um, Danum smoothies. This is the chili cocoa flavor and the frosty marshmallow. I thought that the girls would like this um, for breakfast alternative besides everything else that they got. I love like snacky stuff like this. This one is a Laughing Cow um, creamy cheese dippers in garlic and herb, um, whole grain sticks. I gave, I gave this to Josh one time and he was like, that's disgusting. <laughs> like, it wasn't this one, it was like, the basil tomato like um, sticks with like the regular cream cheese and he was like this is disgusting but the girls and I absolutely love this like if we go to not a theme park but if we go to the normal water park or our park um, we'll take a snack like this in like my backpack or like a small little cooler and this is like something we can eat and it's mess free you know and easy to throw away so I loved that I they did have the original, but I love like different flavors. Okay, I'm happy that I found these. All of their pumpkin stuff was somewhat on clearance, um, so I snagged these up. I should have gotten the Nusa ones, which I might go back and grab them for Destiny, but um, this is a limited patch, um, limited batch from the Chobani Flip. This is the Pumpkin Harvest Crisp. I posted about this on Instagram, like. If you go to my Instagram foodie stories, um, you can see it, which that's another rant that I'm upset with like Instagram for doing. Like if you have over a hundred videos in every story, they delete some of your older videos and it's annoying. So I do love this. It only comes out like in the fall. So Halloween, November, and that's it. It's gone. <laughs> Sayonara. Maybe even September, but I don't think so because I found it around a hollow, like October. So I got two of those for me, which I will be eating. And these do not expire until December 24th, 2018. So they'll be gone by then by me, obviously. And then I got these for the girls because I thought these were really good. I do want to go to the Walmart in the other town across from me because when I was there... Um, a while ago and when I mean a while ago I mean a couple weeks ago maybe last month yeah and last month in November I found these little snack trios right and they're kind of like the p3s but they're not they're a different brand and I loved that I loved the snackiness of it and for Josh he loves kind of things like that grab and go and the girls do too so I found these horizon organic um, good and go cheese and pretzels so i picked up two cheese and pretzels for each of the girls so they can like take it on their lunch or whenever um and then this one is the kobe check kobe jack no kobe jack just kobe cheese and apple crisps so i picked up um two of those because I thought that would be really cool for them to try like on Monday if they want to or over the weekend if we go it's anywhere they can just grab that and like snack on it in the car okay that is my entire Target haul I hope you guys enjoyed this I really do hauls because there's always negative comments and nastiness and stuff like that that people say like oh that's unhealthy which I already know it's unhealthy 
but um yeah follow me on instagram like i said i do love snacking on stuff um I don't know like if you have any like good recommendations on different snacks let me know because I love snacking on a lot of things um, I love dr snacking on dates and like figs like dried like dried stuff you know like I don't know like this is not dried but the mangoes are but I mean it's like so it, it it takes away the urge of eating candy I don't eat candy but it does like you know, and these are the things like, um, I think in my Dollar Tree haul, I'll link it in the iCard. Um, the Dollar Tree haul that I did that I showed the coconut made with real, like made with real coconut milk or something like that. The little um, rods or rounds. Those are so good. They have a little aftertaste because of the black sesame seed, but it's not a bitter taste. It's like a, ooh, what is that? Mm, I want a little bit more just to figure it out. And it's good. I ate like both the bags. Like the girls enjoyed it. Josh really did it, but the girls did. And if I can switch the girls from eating chips so much to eating a little bit healthier, um, like coconut stuff, or even though this might not be exactly the healthiest, like this has nine grams of sugar, which I just dropped completely. Let's see. This. has it says zero total zero zero and then the original has zero salt and cream sour cream and onion has one gram and then cheddar has one gram anyways like if I can take my children from eating this to eating something healthier or nuts I, I, I always try to push that towards my kids and it's not like I am a health junkie or anything like that because by all means I am not. But I do like trying new things. I do like experimenting with like different brands and eating and that's just what I love. Like I love, I love to eat. And it might not seem like it because I'm so thin but you guys, I actually love to eat. Um, and I love that kind of stuff and then people, be, at work are like oh where did you get that and I was like oh Walmart or oh Dollar Tree or Target and they're like are you serious and I'm like yeah and then they try it and then a couple days later they're hooked on it and you know I'm not gonna not buy chips but if I can prevent it that's good you know like if you go just go to my story my foodie video foodie vibes on instagram my instagram name is the same thing as here melinda mom of two girls just go on there and then look at all the stuff you could see that i actually do snack on good things like i like snacking on good things and i think that's what destiny gets from really quick since we're talking about food i regret buying these and i will be giving these away to like my brother because these are disgusting he was like oh they taste good. I was like, well, you can have them. Don't care. These are nasty. <laughs> they are nasty. Like, look, I opened it. This one, maybe not so. The smell is good. But the aftertaste is so bitter that it's like not even worth your dollar. Not even. So we got that one. The hazelnut chocolate spread from the Dollar Tree which I haven't tried yet because I was cutting up apples yesterday to pack for lunch with some like some of these like um like spreads right and what I was taste testing it and I was like Ugh, these are disgusting like you can see I stuck my finger and I was because nobody's opened it but me and I was like I don't like this like the smell is like ooh, nice the taste was like ew disgusting so I would not, I don't re recommend these. This one is the cookie butter almond chocolate duo. Do not recommend. And I do not recommend this one either. The cookie butter creamy one. Like I, I would say maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not thick enough, you know? So like, or creamy. Like I need to like mix it, you know? Like you got to do peanut butter. So I like get my finger like at the edge because it's obviously, I'm the only one that's going to be trying them. So I was like, 
ew like it was just so disgustingly nasty and it does not expire guys until 2020 so it's like either a i'm not used to this like texture or flavor or whatever but it, this was like disgusting my phone is like recording me talk no we're not looking for that so i do not recommend these I, I, no let me know if you guys want me to do like a dollar tree do i recommend this or that because that is like on my list of not recommending so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up again follow me on instagram i know a lot of you do the same thing i ask you like just dm me if i do not accept you just tell me that you're coming from my youtube channel and i would accept you automatically and let you follow me um so yeah, just sit there and look at my stories. You'll see what I'm talking about. Like I do health, like eat healthy snacks here and there. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday and have a nice start of your weekend. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.